Hey everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artists and Pirate here, and in today's video, going to be something a little bit of out of left field and out of character for me, but I want to talk about trains, more specifically model trains. When I grew up as a kid, I loved trains, and the show that was my number one favorite one was this little guy, Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends. All of them, the stories, the books, everything. I just recently went back and read all of the original railway series that Thomas is based on. And I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos about people that were in the production of the Thomas franchise doing the live action models which was really really cool and now as I'm an adult I can appreciate it back when I was a kid they were just kid stories but now I can appreciate the production that went into working with models especially in the early 80s when electronics were still bigger and bulky and getting all those electronics for the eyes and everything into the engines was really really cool and really really fascinating for me to go back and read on but now that I'm entering my mid 30s I'm starting to get nostalgic for things that I used to like as a child and one thing I've always loved is model trains of course Thomas plays a big part in that I've got a model Thomas train that is O gauge but with all the nostalgia I've been feeling about trains and everything I went last year on my birthday to the North Carolina Transportation Museum and it had a huge array of trains and everything I want to go back and maybe vlog it and do like a walking tour if that's something you guys would like to see but I went out and bought my very first model train in probably 20 years I'm gonna say but really really cool this is the Bachman HO scale Yardmaster set you can see it was hundred and nineteen dollars I picked this up around Christmas last year um, it was on a little bit of a sale then this is the suggested price here but I picked it up and said why not you know why not have some fun as an adult and go back and enjoy some of those childhood memories but really awesome packaging. I can tell it's packaged well. It has an 060 steam locomotive with the Union Pacific paint scheme on it. But really, really cool. What I want to do is unbox this, set it up, and run it for the first time here on camera. I hope you guys will stick with me through this video. I've got a card table I'm about to set up, and I'll move the camera and get started with the unboxing. Hopefully, it says it's a 36-inch circle of track. Hopefully it'll fit on the card table. I'm really hoping it will because I'm really excited to see this run and get those childhood memories back. Let's get started. And we're going to begin unboxing the Yardmaster set by getting the plastic off there with my X-Acto knife. And I will open the box and begin taking everything out. There is the train, the car, and the caboose and there's the instruction manual and the track is very secured to where it wouldn't be damaged with wire and you see me there taking it off a lot of model train sets come with an oval this one comes with a 36 inch circle of track and I believe this is the controller everything was packaged nice and secure by Bachman so that's really good and those are the power cords and I will open the instruction manual and glance at it if you guys like what you're seeing I would highly encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me over on Instagram at Artisan Pirate we're gonna begin putting together the circle of track and this easy snap track is really cool You can run it on carpet, hardwood floors, or anything, and it won't damage or mess the trains up. But really, really cool. Goes together easily, and you can be up and running within 10 minutes of opening the set. And I did mismeasure. I thought the table would hold the whole circle. So off camera, I will make an auxiliary table just to where the track's not hanging off over the ledge anywhere. But now that we have the circle complete, I will run my hand along it to make sure everything is nice and smooth. But really, really cool. Alright, now 
that the track is assembled it is the full 36 inch circle and since I moved the camera a little bit closer to hopefully get a better overview you will notice that I've added some auxiliary quarter inch plywood under it. This is the same quarter inch plywood I use in most of my scroll saw projects that I pick up at Lowe's. I just didn't want none of the track really hanging over with a chance for these trains or the cars are all to maybe wobble and fall off. This is not preferred. I would have put it in the floor to assemble it but there's sawdust in it, small pieces of wood and I didn't want all that sawdust to get into the electronics of the train and everything so for just this demonstration to unbox it and test it, it's going to work fine for me but I do plan to have a permanent setup for it soon. But really really cool. What we're going to do now is take the train and the cars out of the box and put them on the track and give them their first go around. We'll take the train and the tender and this is beautifully beautifully detailed and what's really really cool about this is the train can run without the tender I've had older HO scale stuff back when I was a kid where the wiring was through the tender and then some of the wires broke and it was just a hassle finding someone to fix them I do like now that everything is controlled in the engine there you see it complete and it's just a little hook here and it will hook right into the bottom here so it'll hook like that and run, but it can run without the tender, which is really cool. Again, beautifully detailed engine. It's got a light on the very front that'll come on while it's running. So let's get the train and the tender on the track. I am really excited about this. Like a kid at Christmas here. Make sure the tender's hooked. Everything seems to be right on track. Take the car out. Really nice, beautiful, bright colors with the word Burlington on it, which is funnily enough the town that we're in, Burlington, North Carolina. Get it on the track, line everything up, and they connect easily with the couplers there. Really, really cool. And now the caboose, which is a nice bright yellow color, has some beautiful detail. This is a beautiful set all in all by Bachman with everything, and you're ready to go in minutes upon opening the piece, but really, really cool. The front has some great details with the handrails and all, and also the back. And then the smokestack chimney. Really, really cool. Let's get it on track. And now we will add some power. Let's move this out of the way for now. We will first connect to the wall and you have this power wire here with the connector which will go into the controller. I'll hook it into a power strip behind me and then hook it into the controller here and it instantly has power and recognizes the power cord. What is unique to this about me is I had the older style Bachman controllers which were red and then had the were black and had the red dial on it for forward and backwards and they were always finicky to work with. This seems to be a great step up, but really really cool. Now we will hook this wire here to the train track. This piece here goes into the I think this is called a re-roller piece, but it'll slide right in there. Hopefully you can see it on camera and then this piece goes right in and we should be ready to rock and roll let's go oh wow I'm immediately took right back to my childhood but really really cool really really awesome give it a little bit of speed and you can see the headlight on but really really cool I'm so happy with this. Oh, 
All right. Let's see about we'll switch directions and go in reverse. Nice and smooth operation. It's not wanting to jump track or anything. Awesome. Go back forward again a couple times. I'm so happy with this. Very, very happy and very, very pleased. Awesome. I love trains. And that, my friends, is everything that comes in the Bachman HO Scale Yardmaster set. It's still set up over here, otherwise I would do the outro in front of my sticker swap sticker wall. When I turn the camera off, I'll probably sit and watch it run a little while longer, but really, really cool. It takes me right back to my childhood, and I have a bunch of plans for this that hopefully I get to do this year, and I hope you'll join me along for the journey. If you like this kind of video, please let me know. I do want to branch out from just doing mainstream woodworking videos on my channel, but I'm really, really excited about that. With the 3D printer and everything I have, and now the laser cutter and engraver, I want to make a diorama with the train and really add some scenery and stuff to it and just test my modeling skills. I was never able to do that when I had model trains before. I have all those packed up if you guys would like to see me run those on the channel as well, but I was never able to set up a diorama or anything like a lot of people do. And just in case this does catch on, I have already got a logo prepared. My pops designed it for me. Really, really cool, kind of similar to the woodworking logo. That's my sticker. If anyone would like a sticker from me, just let me know. Now, with the train, I have my idea for the diorama. We have Tweetsie Railroad around two hours from me here, which, again, that's somewhere I've never been to and I hope to go to. But being here in the south, in dead center of the south of the United States, my favorite drink and spirit of choice is... So... I got to thinking, with the 3D printer, I 3D printed and then hand painted this. Came out way better than I thought because I'm not a painter. Again, just wanting to test my skills. And then at a local antique store, I picked up an HO scale flatbed. Now I thought, and hear me out, the model train, flatbed car. What do you guys think? I have a whole backstory in my head of what this could be and where it would come from and where the train came from where I could film like maybe, I don't know, some kind of little short movie or just have the train run and tell the story of how the train got where it was. But really, really cool. Again, that goes back to me like in Thomas the Tank Engine. But really, really cool. I'm really excited about this. Let me know if you want to see more different style content like this on the channel. If you're new here, please subscribe to the channel. And also follow me over on Instagram and all my social media links. They're linked down in the description box below. That's about all for this one. I'm going to turn the camera off and get to playing with the trains again. I'm the Artisan Pirate. Take care, and I'll see you guys real soon.